Hello, this is Mike Maytree with Maytree Forestry Consulting. Here to talk about a little bit of planting pine thinning. In this case, it's, uh, well, we're in Stewart County, Georgia. I don't remember if I said this is longleaf pine. 18 years old on a quail hunting preserve. Very thick. All these blue mark pines are coming out. Longleaf is a little slower growing than slash and lob ollie. We're usually thinning slash and lob ollie at anywhere from age 13 to 16. This is uh, 18 years old. And when it was planted, we didn't understand, we as in us foresters, how important competition control is the long leaf so it was planted twice actually because they uh, were choked out by competition the first time and then they came in and interplanted here's what happens with interplanting here's a interplanted pine tree right here it was uh never could compete with the trees beside it that were planted the year before but nonetheless it's a nice stand along leaf with no ground cover for their quail hunting and in a minute we'll walk over and see what the thin stand looks like before we walk over there and look at the thin stand we'll watch this cutter a little bit pretty neat machine That's the way to cut a pine tree. It's got about three trees in the cutter head right now. Backing them up to where he can uh, drop them. There he goes. All right, now on to the thin stand. All right, here we are where it has been thinned. You can actually pan right over here to where they haven't thinned yet. You can see the difference. These trees are over here where they have not been thinned are starting to get pretty overcrowded and definitely shading out the ground cover for the quail management and then we pan around over here and you can see we have removed all of the poor suppressed trees and left the best co-dominant and dominant trees and really nice stocking for a blend of timber management and quail management. This will uh, definitely grow some timber and ideal habitat for their quail hunting program. Well, now it's time to get back to marking some more trees because they're catching up. Hope you enjoyed the video. Mike Maytree, Maytree Forestry Consulting.